Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to upgrade the oil system. And one of the reasons we're gonna do that is when you have a lot of grip with uh, wider tires and you're on the racetrack, some uh, saw the oil pressure drop to yeah, levels which aren't very good. We also had that problem once and so the issue with that is obviously if you don't have enough oil pressure you don't get enough oil uh, around the engine which can destroy the engine. So we have a baffle sump so just it's not a dry sump it's a wet sump and the pickup point for the Oil isn't ideal. I'm gonna show you that when we have uh, everything removed. I can show you where the pickup point is. One of the issues we had also that issue with uh, once the oil pressure dropped uh, after a few right hand corners. We fixed that by overfilling the whole system with roughly nearly half a liter of oil. We just overfilled it and never had the issue again. So that's one of the solutions a lot of people use but there's an even better solution the best solution would be dry sump obviously but it's expensive and the only system i've seen so far is only working without the ac and i really want to keep the ac I'm not gonna do that the other system i saw is a baffled sump which means something like this you try to keep the oil around the pickup point so it can't get away from the pickup point and you never get low oil pressure because there's always oil to pick up from the pump and if there's no baffles around the oil can just switch from left to right in the oil pan and when you have uh, tight corners or very fast corners the oil just goes on the on one side of the sump and then you can have uh, the pump can maybe um, pick up air and not oil which is bad and then everything goes which is not ideal so these will create walls around the pickup point so oil that's very important to know you can see these here they're like little gates obviously they are not shut completely so oil can also if it's uh, as you can see it's not 100% shut but oil can enter without any issues but it's harder for the oil to get out so you will put these around the pickup point so oil can get inside and can go to the pickup point where it should be but it can't go out or can't go away from that which is obviously the whole point of these I have no idea how good they will fit I hope they will fit quite well we'll see that in a couple of minutes Michael is already uh, <laughs> he already <laughs> it's already done I talked for now four minutes and he's already done so I have to talk faster so yeah <laughs> let's install them so let's have a look at this one as you can see right here let's move around a little bit as you can see right here that's the pickup point and when we take a look at the sump as you can see there's no baffling or anything and these will then be something like this in here that's obviously not the correctest thing but they will create some walls around it and then you can have this right here they will bolt as it looks perfectly to some of the bolts right here and yeah i think this will work pretty nice let's see how that works
this is how it looks when it's installed. It's very nicely done and it fits very, very good. As you can see, you already or always use some existing, already existing bolts. The only two bolts you have to add are these two right here. And as you can see, pickup point is now baffled at walls all around and oil can get in, but has a very hard time to get out. So obviously it's not 100% sealed. That's never the goal, but it just helps when oil is uh, wobbling around, it can't get too far. And these right here, as you can see, they go very perfect in here. Very nicely done. I have to say that's a very good part and it's installed rather quickly. As you can see, it's already installed. It's installed quite quickly. The thing that takes by far the most time is cleaning all the stuff up because uh, you have to get rid of all the old ceiling and uh, sealant gasket. It's, it's not a gasket. It's just some silicone, <laughs> some Dichtmasse. So th that's also the thing we have to do. We have to uh, bond it back in. Then that's really what takes the most time up. Uh, cleaning everything, make sure uh, there's no oil left. So the sealant is also done after that. So yeah, but I think we use now it's half past two, two and a half hours. I would say with everything so now let's install the sump. As you can see everything torqued and back together and as you can see there's no no gearbox we are waiting on it because it should come back in a couple of weeks from Kotuch we send it to them after the crash so they can have a look at it if everything's all right. So I just wanted to add something real quick. That's a couple of days after we installed everything because I got a lot of questions and also a lot of mails and uh, messenger and whatnot of the post I made about the uh, baffled sump. If you want to install it, it will take you, if you're alone, about four hours. I said in the video we it took us about two and a half hours maybe but the half of the car was already disassembled and so we didn't have to disassemble that much so if you're alone it will most likely take you about four hours a few things you haven't seen in the video but which are very very crucial to the success of that thing I highly recommend lock tightening every bolt you add to the car it's I think two no it's four bolts you add to the oil pan the other ones are already existing please use Loctite for these and torque the other ones according to spec it's there are two I think quite big ones I'm not sure anymore it's one or two big ones which is about 50 newton meters then one it's 40 something newton meters and then two are 25 ish newton meters so just make sure you torque them correctly because they they are uh, holding stuff from the bottom end of the engine which might be quite crucial to uh, your engine running flawlessly so just make sure of that and then um, I don't know how long your we used silicon to uh, as a sealant a special one for it's made for oil pans so you need to let that dry so it will take longer than four hours after you're done you need I don't know maybe a few hours let the car rest and let bond everything together so it's actually sealed and not oil dripping out of the car which would be bad obviously but the manufacturer states some can scrap the, at the oil pan so you have to modify these which will come on top of the four hours so 
maybe five, six, depending on how much you have to grind off. But it's not a quick job. It's not something you can do just in the morning because the car will sit in the garage or wherever it is for a couple more hours just to let everything dry and seal correctly together. So I just wanted to add that and yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I will tell you how it worked after our first track data, but that might be in a couple of months, maybe, maybe, I don't know, April, March, depends on weather. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Have a good week. Goodbye.